Hey there, this is future Brittany talking, and I forgot to do an intro, so we're just doing it now. All I'm going to say is we're going to do a lot of like fast forwarding, and you're going to see me do painting, taking off the countertops. I don't actually know if I got any film of me taking them off. It took a while, um, and it was a learning process, but totally worth this. We saved $500 by... Um, taking them off ourselves. So if you have laminate countertops, I would highly suggest if you're getting new ones, um, do it yourself. You can do it. Just YouTube some videos like I did and you'll be fine. Okay. So yeah, painting countertops and then Lowe's did the rest. They installed the countertops. So I did not film them. I wasn't going to be that awkward person in the background filming them. So you're going to see the before and then fast forward to after they install the future. Well, it's technically present. Present time now. Collection. I have it in grayish. I'm just gonna go in and do the trim and then also in the little cracks of the beadboard to give it a little extra color because I know that's gonna be tricky. I've done beadboard here already and the cracks were tricky. Part of it was because of the texture of the beadboard, but regardless, I did two coats. I did have to touch up an area um, right here and in the corner, so you can probably see like a variation in color right now just because it still has to dry. But I'm gonna go ahead and take off all of the um, wall tape, and I already put the drawer and cabinet door back on and see how it looks.
this angry sausage is with us now <laughs> so we can finish i don't know how much i enjoy this it kind of looks purple could be wrong i feel like it's coming across purple gray but like more purple than gray which is my issue with it we'll see what it looks like i think i need the counters to be in here to be definite on or definitive on whether i like it or not otherwise we're maybe changing it after the counters get in okay i think we're done for the day everything is deconstructed and painted you can see the yellow that was used i think that was the like the latest color that they had in here we're gonna do the backsplash up four inches so i didn't paint all the way down um but yeah if this is it. I will show you what it looks like once they are here, which is literally going to be in the next 10 minutes. I am excited and nervous because I think I told you guys, like, I'm hating this pink color that I painted it. Like, it's supposed to be gray, but it just looks so purple to me. I might be able to fix that with the rugs, but I know I think the countertops are going to be a big part of whether I like it or not. And then I did order on Amazon a uh, peel and stick backsplash to put on this area for some reason. They didn't put the beadboard above the stove, probably, I don't know, fire hazard with it being wood. So I'm gonna put something there and I think that will make the space a lot more aesthetically pleasing. It's done. They were here for four and a half hours installing these. They did an awesome job as far as insulation goes. They were very messy though. The floors like so dinged up and scratched up everywhere and just, I'm gonna have to put another paint on it or coat of paint, but other than that, it was good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this is it. They're just salt and pepper granite. They are literally the cheapest option our Lowe's had and we went with it because I feel like it will end up being something that lasts for a very long time. Hopefully even with the next owners will like it, whenever that would be. I'm struggling. I thought that I could, I don't know why I thought I could. I thought that I could do the plumbing. Like, I don't know. I watched a couple videos and all of a sudden I'm an expert. <laughs> I'm not. Um, I need. I definitely need someone else to be here to help me. I got this on, but I need to tighten it, but I need someone to hold it at the top and then, um, or just someone with longer arms go underneath because I am struggling. And I even have a soap dispenser too. And again, I just need to get that a little more tightened. Um, and the only thing that I was able to do plumbing once <laughs> is I put, I hooked up the water, but nothing else is hooked up. So like we can't even use the sink. But we opted out of having them send a plumber because it was going to be an extra 400. So I think his dad's gonna help us with that. I just don't know when, hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> and then we'll use the sink again and the dishwasher because I think that's all hooked together. So yeah, I uh, just wanted to update you guys on the looks of it. I did order blinds for the windows. So those need to be installed. I'm still not liking the color of this it's like it's so purple to me i don't know do you guys see the purple i feel like it it's translating pretty well color wise on camera but all i see is purple and i did order this peel and stick backsplash i think i told you guys about it for this like random acrylic area here but it looks blue like way too blue toned white on camera it actually looks better. So I don't think I'm actually going to use that there anymore. I might put that on the fireplace. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use it on the fireplace. I just don't, actually in this lighting it doesn't look terrible. But overall I don't think I, maybe I should just put it on and see if I like it. That stuff's really sticky though. So once it's on, it's on. I don't think I like it. I need Randall to hold it up. He's just never here because football season he's away for like 14 hours a day so it's just me i tried taping it up i didn't like the way it looked i need him to hold like a couple of them up though the lighting you can't see it right now but if i do it close up of the floor like you'll be able to see a little better what i'm talking there's just like scuffs and marks everywhere because they were just dragging their tools around in this ugh, the floors i'll get into a story with that another day <laughs> I did see Amazon dropped off the rug. So let's go put that down because we can do that. Look how tiny that package is.
is actually the smaller one I have. This, which is the three by five, I also ordered a four by six. The four by six is uh, back ordered for a month and that's the one that's gonna go here because it does look too small. This is actually supposed to go in that area. But for now, I wanna just kinda have it here to see if I even like it. Now that I'm looking at it, it is not the color I thought it was. I thought the gray was gonna be more purpley like the walls and it's not quite there, but I don't hate that. Okay, I think also we do need to know that the blinds are this like honeyish color, which does look good with that rug. I think I just need to see it all together because right now it's just so scattered. And what I really want, I know I just got these lights, um, but like those woven flush mount lights, more like kind of bamboo style up there. I think that would look really cute. And I think that would make me like everything put together. That's the thing, I need to just put together a mood board and stop guessing because then I end up returning like a million things and I hate returning things. Not dead kitty. <laughs> okay, I think we're just going to, we're just gonna do it. I'm doing it. is crazy hard to get apart. So I'm gonna have to use the circular saw for it. We don't have one though, so that's gonna be a Lowe's trip probably tomorrow. I know Randall will be so excited to get one. So we'll do that and then I'll get it done. I only have two up right now, but again, because this is all over the place, I forgot I bought a hammock. As I was going outside to throw away some of the trash, I remembered I bought a hammock while I was at Lowe's because everything's like, super clearance for the summer going into fall and i got like a 200 dollar hammock for 50 bucks and i've always wanted one so i'm gonna build that and i will show you guys probably not while i'm building it because that's gonna probably take forever we'll see maybe i'll update you and be like it took like two seconds but let's do let's get something done today something DIYer without telling me you're an amateur DIYer. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. I was originally going to wait until I finished the peel and stick backsplash and let's be clear in a tiny area like I thought I'd be done with that in an hour um, and I'm still not done with it and I decided because I am on a hiatus at the moment from doing any more work on it because I have two different areas that I sliced open. And while I wish I could be like, actually I don't wish I could be like, I uh, sprained my wrist doing the tile. I did not, I did that doing something else. Uh, but the tile definitely didn't help it. It definitely hurt it further. So I'm gonna stop while I'm still, have all my phalanges and move on to something else and go back to it once my cuts heal. I literally like slice off the top of my thumb maybe 10 minutes ago and then when they heal I'm gonna wear gloves like steel coated gloves and finish this dang tile it's been about a week my hands are pretty much fully healed this wrist is not healed yet I just get really tired of wearing that brace and when I'm not doing anything super strenuous I don't have it on um, my thumbs though are looking good they don't hurt anymore we are going to do safety first i do have my gloves we're going to be using those but basically uh what i have found because i told you guys i was going to get a saw um table saws are really expensive what i have found <laughs> so we're going to go about it the normal human way that doesn't have a table saw which is utility knife i do highly suggest you do not get these thick tiles they are so frustrating, but that's besides the point. We're here. What's done is done. With like these little edges, I just have to finish up the trim and make some triangles. And with that, I don't really need a tile cutter to give me a line. I wish the tile cutter just cut the tile, 
but that is not the case. So what we're doing is as straight of a line as possible, we are going to perfect uh, do that. And then what I do now that I have my edge is I put the knife into the tiny little crease it formed and then I just start making it deeper and I do that for I don't know there's not a science to it a few a few hundred no uh, maybe like 20 rounds I don't know enough that here in a second I'm going to be able to and uh, not gently but very uh, ferociously break it off Safety though, do not cut yourself. Do not be dumb like me. I didn't cut myself doing this, I cut myself breaking it, which you wouldn't really expect that to be the part where you slice your finger. But it was. Okay, I think that should be good enough and maybe a few more to make it less likely to cut me. Moment of truth. Actually really nervous to do this because this stupid cut. Haha. -ha. Any cut on the thumb? Let's check. <laughs> Success. Okay, I'm gonna keep doing this and then I'll show you. But we all grow old. Can't have my soul. Let my heart turn stone. Guess I gotta say it twice, it ain't my fault Every little thing got a price, that's what I thought That's what they taught I could literally do a whole video of just me complaining about this tile And if I could rewind And just pay someone to put up real tile, I would have <laughs> I would have, and at this point in too far in, too far in, and that stuff's not coming off the wall. No matter how much they say it's easy to get off the wall, I took a hairdryer to it, it's not coming off the wall. So it's staying, we're dealing with it, there's mistakes on it, you'll see. Okay, you know what, let's just go into the new kitchen tour. None of this is like styled by any means, um, there's dirty dishes. I literally don't have most of it's not done, but um, we're gonna see it anyways. And you know what, as time goes on, I'm sure it will change more and then I can give you guys updates then. But for now, this is how it's gonna stay at the moment. Walking in, you have the tile. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and show you while I'm at it. Um, I have pretty much all of it done except for the top areas so that's what I still need to work on and then I need to caulk it and this is like the worst area right here I figure maybe put a little paint or caulk on that that might help it I couldn't get it off I wanted to fix it I couldn't fix it so we're dealing with it um we also added in the blinds these are just bamboo shades from Amazon um I love them we have them all throughout the house or we are continuously getting them throughout the house. I don't have all of them yet. Um, but they're amazing because you can just boop, boop. And there's no cords, which means Max can't uh, ruin them because he loves cords. Um, again, <laughs> um, counter, here's the sink. I love the sink. I'm sorry, it's dirty. I, I, there's like eggshells in the bottom. I need to empty the dishwasher that just finished and then load it again. Um, Undermount sink, amazing, beautiful. We also have a soap dispenser that I'm so stoked about and then um, this, whatever you call that, uh, sink candle faucet. That's from Project Source. It was the cheapest one Lowe's offered and then that's from Amazon. I actually have all my Amazon, which like everything's from Amazon pretty much. All my Amazon stuff is linked in my Amazon store. If you're ever curious about anything with like prices. And then we move on to this area that has like nothing in it <laughs> except for my wines. And then Randall's whiskey. I don't know what I want. I like clear, like counters without anything on it, but I do want to put something on this counter, like maybe, maybe a plant or something. I don't know. I haven't figured it out for now. It will just stay um, nice and clean 
and these cabinet handles are also from Amazon. They came with like rusted ones on the old kitchen that we immediately took off after I cleaned the cabinets that were absolutely disgusting. And then that's the kitty area right there. So this is, oh, let me get you the different angle. This is the kitchen. It's small, but I love it. I do, we have lots of cabinets and it makes me happy. There's still a lot of little things I wanna do in here, but for now, I think that I am just fine with the way it looks. And if you were wondering, the countertops are from Lowe's. I know I mentioned that because Lowe's people were in here fixing them. But we just got the, literally the cheap, <laughs> of course you did, the cheapest granite, or not even granite, the cheapest countertop they offered. Like we went in there originally thinking butcher block would be cheaper, and it wasn't. After installation, um, it would have been a couple thousand dollars more than just getting the cheapest version of their granite, which is what we got. So um, they call it their like A level granite. And that was just, I think, $53 a square foot. Um, and that included install. So yeah, this was the cheapest and I like it a lot. I like it a lot. It's a neutral and we'll go with a lot of stuff. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the, luckily not much of a fiasco other than like me hurting myself and um, all that. If I don't put in the like before, be, like the very before photos of the kitchen, I'll do that in an upcoming video, but I might actually just sneak it in to this one too. Cause I'm gonna do a house tour soon, even though it's not done. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Cause last time I waited, I like literally waited for two years. We're not doing